Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work with the rolled walls which is an option in the Generated Sheet Metal Workbench in Kitty 5. In front of us we have a rolled wall. When you see this, uh, you will remember the parts or the padding function which you have worked in the uh, part design workbench. Yes, it is very much similar to the part design workbench, but the only difference is uh, sometimes when you work with the sheet metal workbench, you'll have to create uh, rolled walls like this. So the rolled wall tool is used to create rolled wall, rolled sheet metal components such as the pipes, open pipes, and so on. So to create a rolled wall let me just open up a new workspace generate a sheet metal workbench and I'll just put it as rolled wall study and first of all set the sheet metal parameters and then create a circle or an arc so that's the input for the rolled wall select the XY, XY plane and first of all let's try it with the circle so this is the only sketch which is required to create a rolled wall. Now insert rolled walls and rolled wall. Now just specify. There are va uh, various uh, variables you can see over here. You can specify the height here. You can specify the height here. That is the second limit. Or else you can uh, do the mirror extent and the second limit will be frozen and you have another option to um, preview and you have another option to give mirror extent and uh, symmetrical thickness means uh, the where the sketch is being created the material will be added half here and half here and uh, another option is uh, the unfold reference under the unfold reference you have three options start, end and midpoint what is the start point? if I click on OK start point can be explained only when you have an arc as the input so let me just create make this into an arc so what you can do how you can cut a circle into an arc use a line and then trim out the circle and you get the arc now you have this is a start point this is the end point and this is the middle point so what does that mean let me just unfold it and I'll show you when I unfold this right now what happens is this is a start point and it is getting unfolded with respect to the start point here so fold this back and come back to the rolled walls and this time put the end point as the unfold reference and click OK and unfold it now and it's getting unfolded with respect to this end point here this, the end point here right now fold this again back and come back and select the middle point and now unfold it and you can see that it's getting unfolded with respect to this particular middle point of the sketch now come back to the folded position and that's all about uh, the roll walls and the all the options which is coming under the roll walls so this is especially important when you're working in the sheet metal workbench and i hope you enjoyed this if you want to watch more videos about uh, the cad and uh, kit here softwares get your related softwares please subscribe me and uh, please like and share my videos to support me and my works and uh, you can comment below the video for any doubts and you can also write to me at getia.pro.user at gmail.com for any CAD projects and uh, after all you can follow me at the blog that is www.cadmadeeasy.blogspot.in that's all for today stay tuned thank you